Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll share with you a technique that will factor this trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c quickly. Let's get started. Suppose we want to factor 2x squared plus 5x minus a 3. In the class, probably you're taught to factor this by trial and error method or guess and check method or by factoring by grouping. If you have this kind of trinomial where a and uh, c are prime numbers or they're negatives because 2 and 3 here are prime numbers, okay, then uh, you can easily factor it out by trial and error method. Here you get 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. Again here, you need to determine the appropriate locations of 1 and 3 okay the factors of a three and the corresponding signs so since the last term is negative we know that one of them is negative so and in this case to check whether the factorization is correct or not you have to check whether the sum of the outer and the inner product is equal to your middle term in this case 2x times a three is 6x plus negative one times x negative x 6x plus negative x, it is equal to 5x. So therefore, this is a correct factorization of this one. With the factoring technique that I have in mind, I can easily factor this out in two steps. So first, I'll write it down as 2 times x minus 1 half times x plus 6 over 2. And then finally, get the answer 2x minus 1 times x plus 3. Now, how did I get these factors? 2 times x minus 1 half times x plus 6 over 2. So what I did is just look at the product of uh, a and c, which is actually equal to negative 6, and just uh, think of uh, two factors of negative 6 whose sum is 5. And that is very easy to determine. So they are negative 1 and positive 6. So here you go. This negative 1 here is this one. And then 6 is this one. And then this 2 here, 2 and then 2 and then this other 2 is actually the coefficient of x squared. Let's try another example. Let's factor 12x squared plus x minus 6. If you're going to factor this by trial and error method, it might take you a long time because 12 and 6 are not prime numbers. But let me show you how to factor it fast. So first, you multiply 12 and negative 6, so you'll get negative 72. So now think of factors, two factors of negative 72, okay, whose sum is the coefficient of x, which is equal to 1. And it's easy to determine those factors. They are positive 9 and negative 8. So 9 plus negative 8 is equal to 1. After finding these uh, two factors of negative 72 whose sum is equal to 1, we can already write this trinomial as a product of 12 times x minus 8 over 12 times x plus 9 over 12. So this negative 8 here comes from this one and this 9 here goes to this one. And these uh, three 12s are actually the coefficient of x squared. Now, this is not yet the final answer because if you're asked to factor a trinomial with integer coefficients, then you need to write the factors also as polynomials with integer coefficients. So here, we're going to uh, simplify first the fraction. So 8 over 12 is 2 thirds and 9 over 12 is equal to 3 fourths. These two are not integers. Now, to make them integers, we use the factors of this 12. So we can actually write 12 as a 3 times 4. So to make this uh, fraction 2 thirds uh, as an integer, we need to distribute this uh, 3 to this factor to make it a 3x minus 2. And then to make this a 3 fourths an integer, we need to distribute this factor 4 to this uh, factor x plus uh, 3 fourths. And we'll get th uh, 3x minus 3 times 2 thirds, which is equal to 2. And then 4 times x, so that is 4x, plus 4 times 3 over 4, which is equal to 3.
And here, we get the right factorization, which is equal to 3x minus 2 times 4x plus 3. So let's review this uh, fast technique again. So if you're given ax squared plus bx plus c, the first thing that you need to do is to multiply a and c. So you'll get this product a times c. Now you look for factors of a and c whose sum is equal to b. So you have here m plus n must be equal to b and m times n must be equal to ac. After finding these values of m and n, you can already express this trinomial as a product of a times x plus this m here, m over a, and then again, this a here is the coefficient of x squared times the quantity x plus n over a. But don't forget the last step because this m over a and n over a could be fractions. They are not integers. But if you're factoring trinomials with integer coefficients, all the factors must have integer coefficients. So the last step must be to distribute factors of this first factor a to the other factors x plus m over a and x plus n over a so that uh, these two factors here are polynomials with integer coefficients. Let's try more examples. If you want to try this out first, uh, pause this uh, video. So we want to factor here uh, 6x squared minus 7x minus 20. So of course the first thing that you need to do is to multiply a and c. 6 times negative 20, so that is equal to negative 120. Now, we're going to look for two factors of negative 120 whose sum is negative 7. So there are several factors of negative 120. So it is helpful here to do prime factorization of this number, 120. So we can write 120 as... This 8 times 5 is 40 times uh, 3, okay? So it's a product of powers of prime numbers. So that is prime factorization. Now, you're looking for two factors of this. So just find two factors of these products, okay? Whose sum is negative 7. And actually here, if you take the product of 3 times 5, so that is 15, and this is 8, Okay, if you include the negative sign to this product, negative 15 and then 8, so their sum, negative 15 plus 8, is equal to negative 7. Now, if you want to learn a systematic way to find these uh, integers, negative 15 and 8, so please watch my other video. The link is given below. So after finding these two integers, whose product is negative 120 and sum is negative 7, we can already express this one as a, so that is 6, times x plus this one, but x plus negative 15 is the same as minus 15 over a, so over 6, times x plus 8 over 6. But again, we're not yet done because we need to make sure that the factors are polynomials with integer coefficients. So let's simplify this one. 15 over 6 is 5 over 2, and then 8 over 6 is equal to 4 over 3. Now, to make these integers, okay, you factor this 6 here. It is equal to 2 times 3. So we only need to distribute this first factor to to this second factor x minus 5 hubs and also distribute this uh, 3 to the third factor x plus 4 over 3 and we'll get the answer which is 2 times x that is 2x minus 2 times 5 hubs so that is equal to 5 and then 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 4 over 3 which is equal to 4 and we'll get the right factorization, which is 2x minus 5 times 3x plus 4. And you can check your answer by FOIL method. Let's move to our last problem. So let's factor uh, 10x squared minus 19x plus 6. 
So again, the first thing that we need to do is to multiply A and C, and we'll get 60. So here, we're looking for two factors of 60 whose sum is negative 19. Since it's negative and the product is positive, the two integers are both negative integers. So what are those integers? This is divisible by 2, but negative 2 times negative 30, their sum is not negative 19. This is divisible by 4 negative 4 times negative 15 so as you can see we'll get negative 4 and negative 15 their product is 60 and their sum is equal to negative 19 and therefore we can express this one as a so a is 10 times x minus 4 over a times x minus 15 over a Okay, uh, fifth, negative 15 over a, which is equal to 10. And again, we need to simplify our factors. We'll get here x minus 2 over 5 minus a 3 halves. And to make these polynomials with integer coefficients, we factor the 10. That is equal to 2 times 5. So we distribute the 2 to the third factor and distribute this 5 to the second factor. And we'll get the factors... Uh, 2 times x is 2x and 2 times uh, 3 halves is equal to 3. So 2x minus a 3. Then 5 times x, 5x minus 5 times 2 over 5, which is equal to 2. And we'll get the uh, correct factorization, which is 5x minus 2 times 2x minus a 3. Okay, this is the end of this lesson. If you enjoyed learning this fast method for factoring trinomials, please click the like button below and share this video to your friends or to anyone who might need it. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more tips and strategies in math. This is Dennis of KO Math signing off. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.